Once upon a time, in a small village, there lived an old widow. She was frail with age, unable to work in the jom fields. With no one to care for her and no food to eat, she lived in a humble hut, barely protected from the elements. One day, the skies opened up, and it rained heavily. Darkness fell early, and as fate would have it, the king was traveling through the village alone. With no other place to seek refuge, he spotted the widow's hut, and was forced to take shelter there for the night. He tied his horse underneath the house and climbed up into the hut, where the widow welcomed him kindly. While the rain poured on, a tiger prowled nearby, searching for prey. It followed the scent of the horse to the widow's hut. With hunger in its eyes, the tiger devoured the horse tied below, and after satisfying its hunger, lay down to sleep in the same spot. Inside the hut, the widow, unaware of what had happened, shared her woes with the king. I am not afraid of wild animals, not even tigers, she said. But this rain, this chachurat, is what truly bothers me. It leaks through my roof and chills me to the bone. The tiger, hearing her words from below, was startled. It thought, she's not afraid of me, the king of the forest, but she fears this chachurat. This chachurat must be more powerful than me. Morning came, and the rain had stopped. The king, ready to leave, went down to retrieve his horse. In the dim light of dawn, he mistook the sleeping tiger for his horse. Without hesitation, he put the saddle on the tiger, slipped the bridle into its mouth, and mounted it. The tiger, still confused and terrified of the mysterious Chachurat, allowed itself to be ridden, too afraid to resist. The king rode off, urging the tiger toward his town. Whenever the tiger tried to turn toward the forest, the king whipped it, forcing it to follow his command. In great pain and fear, the tiger suddenly bolted, running toward a narrow cave in the forest. As it tried to squeeze into the cave, the tiger got stuck, leaving its tail hanging outside. The king was thrown off in the process. Frustrated and angry, the king grabbed the tiger's tail and pulled with all his might. The tail eventually came off in his hands. Annoyed and still unaware that he had been riding a tiger, the king took the tail and returned home, thinking the ride had been unusually rough. Meanwhile, the tiger, terrified of Chachurat and in agony from losing its tail, struggled to free itself from the cave. It ran to the nearest stream to soothe its wounds. However, a crab in the stream, smelling the blood, bit into the tiger's wound. In excruciating pain, the tiger ran away with the crab's fangs still lodged in its flesh. The tiger, unable to bear the pain any longer, soon died from its injuries, and so, the widow was unknowingly saved from the tiger that had once intended to kill her. All because of the tiger's mistaken fear of the mysterious Chachurat, the rain that had bothered her so much.